It's Corey and Denise from Does Size Matter and we have another Airstream to show you today. Uh, we are lucky enough to be at an Airstream rally at the Country Village campsite in Leicester, Vermont. <laughs> Who knew that we'd show up at a rally, but we did. And at this rally, Pete's RV Centre is showcasing some of their new Airstreams. So today we're going to take a look at the 2020 Globetrotter 25F be. So just remember that today we're sharing information with you from a whole bunch of different research sources that Corey and I uh, go through to get the best information we can for you. But really, it's just our opinion based on the way we use an RV. So you can take that however you like. And then don't forget in the end of this video, there'll be some links for you to click. They'll take you to the construction video for the Airstream, some other models, some adventures. So don't forget to click on those. And uh, without further ado, let's go check this one out. So I just want to start here at the front and show you that you got a 30 amp uh, connection here and um, if you can get in here I they've got storage and I want to show you that but I can't reach the other side so I have to go around so not really the most convenient setup for me but gives you quite a bit of storage eh? There's a light in there too. And also, there is this storage here. Oh, that's your batteries. So, no real storage, but a good protection for your batteries. You get um, your propane cover here. This would be two 30 pound tanks. You get an electric jack, handy. And then if we carry on, oh, I also wanted to mention that you get the solar protection covers uh, over your beautiful Airstream windows, which also help, you know, as protection. And you get this rock guard. So going on around, there is more storage here. So that's kind of handy too. Anywhere you can get storage, right? I mean, it is less on an Airstream than on others, but uh, that's the way they're constructed. You also get uh, four manual stabilizer jacks and you get a place to put your sewer hose, so that's handy. You get an outdoor shower, you get your tank fill, you get your uh, sewer connection with has a light, which is a good thing, you know, at night. Um, then these are your black and gray valve release things and oh this one's a lot easier than the last one but I do have to wonder over time wetness debris things like that these little things could get tough but they clip on like that and off and then you would turn that to release your valve all of this stuff is up underneath into the frame and is kept warm and heated so that's important also you get the aluminum wheels and I want you to go back and take a look at that construction video because the axles on these trailers are a torsion system without a spring and it changes the whole ride of a trailer. So please check into that where we explain it some more. And then let's move on down here and see. So, so you have another 30 amp connection. That's interesting. And then you got your cable TV connection there. Moving on back, oh, I also want to point out the large uh, awning that's up there. Now, that's not a full awning. That's just to pull out and to give you some shade for your windows. So it would pull out from way up there and hook into down here to keep it in place. Um, so that's all great, but a little tough for us to reach. Uh, I'm sure there's a pole for that. And coming around to the back here, you get your backup camera, you get the window awning package that includes that, and you get these clips here that I don't love so much, but that gives you more storage. 
really good. And you get another light back here too, so that's going to help up, help when you're uh, backing up. Okay, and then let's move around to the other side. And here's where you're going to find your bigger, much bigger awning, and this will be an electric awning with LED lighting underneath it. You know how I love LED lighting. Uh, you've also got a door light there. You've got these steps. They are aluminum. Um, a little different to try and pull out and get into place. Uh, probably not my favorite feature, but they are good and sturdy and they're not going to rust on you, so that's handy. You've got your door, um, which again, you know, these are all rounded, right? And they fit that cool um, airstream uh, shape. You get a screen door, which has just a little bit of extra protection on it there, so that's nice. And then the uh, the hookup for your door is just a, a thumb piece here that unhooks, opens and shuts the door, push back and click it in place. So there is also a electric there, plug in. And then there's more storage up here. Let's take a look at it. Mm, excellent. So these are all sealed nicely and uh, you can lock them all. So now that finishes the outside of the Globetrotter. Let's go inside and take a look. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is a much lighter decor. I like it. It's bright. So in this particular model, we get quite a, a big dinette here, big seating. Um, and I do like the blue. It's not a U, just so you catch on like the table. There's no space back here. So it's side to side sitting, but you get your great Airstream windows like who can resist. Um, down here is uh, some storage, which is quite spacious, but I wish it were a drawer. You know how I am. I like drawers better than doors. Under here, there is electrical back there and a bit of an inconvenient storage here, but it's storage. Um, so that's good too. And then this whole thing makes down into a bed and we'll show you that. Um, up here at the top, like white cabinetry is different, right? So you got USB, you've got your control panel for music and that kind of thing. These are pretty sturdy open closer things, like they hold up, but they're not hard to, to bring back down. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, that's interesting. There's a little mirror up there so you can see what stuff is down here because it is quite, it's quite deep, right? So I guess for me, that means the climb, right? But it is quite deep down here, so you get a mirror so you can see. Oh, good thinking. And then there's speakers and there's lighting underneath here. So that's all handy. Um, this window will open. You've got the uh, blackout blinds. So I wanted to show you guys how this table system makes down into a bed, a little bit different in the Airstream, um, and even a little bit different uh, between the Classic and here we're in the Globetrotter, but I'll explain all that to you. So these cushions here come out, and of course remember putting it down is just the opposite. <laughs> So we're going to take these out. Ta -da. Now, underneath here, in the post that's in every trailer's table, there's some little clips. Can you see those? So you undo them with just a pull and there's one level. Is that both? Oh, is it both? Might be both. 
Oh yeah, it is both. Okay, so it came up both levels. You put the clips back in and then you put the cushions back in. So of course to put it down, you just undo those and put pressure on this and it slides down. The challenge is you gotta hold it down yeah. while you get back underneath and shut those clips. So that, that would be the only challenge to the system. Uh, much better than the nest that we rented there for that couple of weeks. Uh, and then on the classic, this telescoping system is even push of a button. So that makes it pretty easy. Probably if you had longer arms and some, yeah, it might be easier, but yeah, it's, um, uh, you have to stick some weight on top of the table and then yeah. So, so what I suggest you do is you push down and you put the kid up there yeah. and then no, you go underneath. <laughs> I mean, it's doable, right? It's, it's better than fighting with that post and those kinds of things. So I, I, I don't mind that system. And then if we move around, I mean, again, you've got these beautiful windows and these are the roller blinds that the little piece hooks in down there. I really do like these blinds, I have to say. Let's see if we can get these windows open because they've been a challenge in just about every one that I have tried. They're there, they're coming. Okay, I wonder if I could do it with one hand. Okay. Okay, now there's a little, there's a spot that they can go into to be one level open or there's, they can go to an even higher level of opening. Okay, it's there. They really open. They do. I've heard people, lots of people, discuss how sticky these windows can be. Um, many owners, even not just new, but down the line have talked about that. Uh, and for me, I have to say, these are beautiful. I love the airflow. I love the size, but they're a bit of a challenge. Let's see if I can get them down. Okay. Okay, much easier to get down than up. Oh, there's a third, sorry, there's a third level too. Okay, so then they're that. Sorry, that didn't work either. Why can't I do that? Shoot. Maybe that'll work. In the end, yeah, in the end, by locking these pieces, I'm able to get it down. Okay, so it's also probably one of those things that takes a little bit of practice. And I mean, they're beautiful windows. So up top, we get these blinds, um, which I also do like, but they're a challenge to get up. So, let's see. Oh, there we go. I mean, they're not all the way up, but to be really honest with you, I know I wouldn't use those. Don't you think? You just like light. I love the light, and I would never be blocking those windows. So, it's up to you, I guess, and maybe if you're taller, you'd be able to manage that easier than I do. Than I do. Couch area. Um, which also makes into a bed. So let me show you that. So you bring this out. Um, this stays where it is. And then there's a couple of extra cushions in the back there that would fit in here. Okay, so these are the extra cushions and they are supposed to fit right here. Okay. This is our Airstream challenge. We always have trouble with the cushions fitting. Um, so it's, fit tight, right? like they do, they, they well, but they pop out. Because they fit tight, then they, they pop out. But that's just, so yeah, that's the bed. It's a, a decent size and these are very comfortable cushions and they're easy to wash. So the only challenge that I've noted with both of these beds is the additional cushions 
unless they're taking up a lot of your storage space, whether it be in the closet or under the beds or things like that, there's really no dedicated place for them to be. So you'd want to plan ahead uh, if you were going to have guests and use these beds because then you'd need to bring the cushions along. Otherwise, leave them at home, right? Because you just want the extra storage space. So... So this would be a giant L-shaped bed if you had a table made down too. It would be, you're right. A good movie night with the kids. Also, um, there is storage under here and lots of bins and things like that. So, gotta love that. And we can take a look at TV, storage, USB. And coming back, we might as well do this while we're here. This is a nice fridge. So it's a Dometic and I'm gonna call it six cubic feet. We'll see. <laughs> it's almost like a game now. This then is a freezer. So, I mean, it's not huge, but it's good. It's reachable. Everything is good and reachable. So that's nice. Below there is a door. I mean, it's not a lot of space, but you can cram something in there. Then over to the kitchen area. More tiny storage up there. You'd have to get some sort of bins to really use that. Uh, here. Oh, wow. Hey, I love this. This is great. I love pullouts. It's organized. It's easy to access. And it went all the way down, too. Okay. Up here, you've got... Hmm, let me look at that. Yeah, okay. Even though this is a very nice, low-profile uh, range hood, you're going to have to pull these from the side or over here uh, to get at them. And... Although they're nice and deep and I like that and it has the mirror there, I, it's this opening just simply needs to be lower for me. I don't, I don't particularly like that right there. Okay. And same thing here. I want this opening to be bigger. And you got some good LED puck lighting. Uh, electricity. This is a nice stove. This is a Dometic as well. I like the cover. Uh, three burner gas. I think the level's pretty good. And then you get a convection um, microwave. So it's small, but remember all this is going to come out and it's actually bigger looking than what it is. And some more storage. Again, it's very small. You're going to fit your dishes and things in there. Over here, oh, you'll want to look at this from this side. So that's handy. And there's another one below it. Small, but using every bit of space that they can. And then, so this will be a Corian countertop. One piece, solid, uh, nice, large undermount sink. I'm hoping that it has a sink cover or actually I'm hoping it has a split sink cover so that you would have more countertop space and still be able to utilize the sink. It's got a very nice high uh, faucet, quality faucet. And let's look here. So these are some good deep drawers, but of course they're cut out for the plumbing. And there you go. Put your pots and pans in there. Also, the thing I wanted to show you at the back here are some openings. Um, so this one has a uh, garbage can. And then this one also has a garbage can. And this garbage can you can also access from over here. So I just want to show you that covered there. So that makes it easy to take the garbage out. Yep. I don't know that you need two of those. You know, like if you're separating your compost from your garbage or something like that, that would be handy. So that's the kitchen. I mean, it's good. It's efficient. Few things that I would want to improve upon. Do you want to talk? Let's look at this flooring. 
because, okay, right now we're at a show. People are walking in here, so this is dirty floor. What I really want to show you is that this is all a one piece vinyl floor, but it's almost like a tweed material. And at first when we saw it, I was like, mm, that's going to be tough to clean. You're never going to manage that until since I'm at a rally, I went into one of the other ones and I think it was an 18 and the people had used it lots. Um, and the floor was perfect. And I mean, she wasn't like miss down on the floor, scrubbing everything. Nobody's allowed in with their shoes. She had a dog, she had a grandchild and the floor was in perfect shape. So clearly it is easy to clean and manage. So come on, let's take a look this way. So we've got the bathroom, which has this cool little window in it and the door opens up all the way so that you can see there's um, storage and the mirror is angled. So that works for us, even though it's high, right? And then you've got storage there, storage here. This is um, a very nice countertop. Like it's long, you have lots of space, small uh, bowl, but it's good, awesome tap, lights, plugs. It's very spacious. You've got um, storage underneath which is pretty good. And there's a slider door and storage here and another one down there. So that's quite a bit of storage for this small bathroom, right? You have got heat venting in here. You've got a porcelain toilet with a foot flush. So that's good. Got venting. I like it all. And then on this side is your shower. So this is a big shower, I think. I mean, it's not a huge shower, but it's a fairly big shower. It is a two-piece unit, that, which is fully caulked and has a seat and has great fixtures. Very nice. So then we head back to the bedroom. So I know I'm saying back to the bedroom. We're actually doing, this is the front of the trailer, right? So the hitch is up there. You do still get your uh, big panoramic windows with the uh, darkening uh, curtain things. It just seems darker in here right now because they've got a sign over the front window here. But this does open and these sides open. This is the twin. So you get these two twin beds here to give you space to walk in between. But you can get this in a queen. Um, now they of course have cut these mattresses to fit the airstream perfectly they've given you these nice bed spreads now what they need to do is give you sheets because it's going to be super hard to buy sheets to fit these mattresses nice pillows and things they're pillow top memory foam mattresses you get a drawer here plus there's storage underneath on uh, both sides so these have bins in them as well. So that's nice. There's another one here, which also has a bin. And there's the exact same thing on the other side under the bed. There's heat ducting there. And then there's also, if you wanna come back here and look this way, um, a cupboard on this side and a TV on the other side in case you don't get enough TVs. <laughs> also, uh, you get reading lights over the bed area and more of that big, deep storage. And again, this is, I need this to be open down to here. And you've got this wraparound thing, so I think there would be no problem doing that. LED lighting, air conditioning, fantastic fan. Lights are on dimmers. There are two uh, curtain dividers here, one here at the bedroom and one just outside the bathroom door. So you can define space is what I'm saying. You can be just bathroom, you could be bathroom, bedroom, you could be just the front, whichever you like. Uh, all of the uh, walls, cabinets, things in here are the Italian light ply. Uh, there's no MDF. 
So also want to point out you get a fantastic fan, you get a skylight, the LED lightings, the AC in here, 15,000 BTU with a heat pump. So I think that covers the roof. Let's go to the numbers. All right, let's take a look at the numbers on the 2020 Globetrotter 25 FB, and this particular one was the twin. Um, the exterior length, 25 feet, 11 inches. The exterior width, 8 foot, 5 and a half inches. Exterior height with the AC is 9 foot, 9 inches. The interior height, 6 foot, 7 and a half inches. The hitch weight with the propane and batteries, 882 pounds. Um, the base weight with propane and batteries, 6,074 pounds. So the GVW is actually at 7,300 pounds. Your cargo carrying capacity, 1,226 pounds. Uh, your freshwater tank at 39, your gray water tank at 37, and your black at 39. Uh, as we said, on the 30 amp, you get one air conditioner. It has a heat pump, and that's at 15,000 BTUs. But you can, as an option, upgrade to the 50 amp service to air conditioners with a heat pump um, running at 13.5. BTUs. It also has a ducted furnace, 25,000 BTUs, and that refrigerator was a three-way 6.7 cubic foot refrigerator. So that's nice. Uh, a couple other things. These windows are uh, single pane tempered glass, but I want you to look at the construction video to uh, get more information on that. It also has a thousand watt pure sine wave inverter. It is wired up for solar, but you'd have to put the panels and the batteries and those kinds of things on. And it has uh, electric or propane water heater at six gallons. That's all the numbers we've got on the uh, Globe Trotter. We hope that we've given you enough information to make some of the buying decisions that you might have. And uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. If you've liked this, give us a thumbs up. And if you're an owner or you even just have some questions, please put them in the comments because that adds to the conversation and everybody's learning. So that's going to be it for the Globe Trotter. Thanks for watching.